Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. In this video I'm going to talk about this Zenismart Zigbee light switch. Now, full disclosure, Zenismart did send me this device for my review, but they're not sponsoring this video, they're not editing this video, all the conclusions about this device are completely my own. The reason I decided to do this video, even though we are just talking about a smart switch like almost any other light switch out there, it's the same concept, is because I think that Zemi Smart actually has done something very clever with this device. Now, let me show you, let me unbox it real quick. In the box, just some literature, the device itself, some screws, some screws. This is the device. And as you can see, it has six physical buttons. In the back, it only has four terminals. The other two buttons are actually virtual or just seen buttons that you can control other things than lights. This device is a Zigbee device. It does require a neutral wire. It's a Tuya device. So if you're already a Tuya user, you can integrate it into your environment. Of course, you will need already uh, configured Tuya Zigbee Gateway. If you're in the market for a Tuya Zigbee Gateway, a few weeks ago I created a video about the Zemi Smart Zigbee and Matter Gateway, which is a fantastic device. I will put a link to this video right here. And the reason I decided to actually install this device is because there are two major benefits for me here. First of all, I will, I will install it in a place where I will pull out a Shelly device. And I'm always rooting for using smart home devices with smart home dedicated protocols like Zigbee, Z-Wave, Matter Over Thread, and less Wi-Fi devices. And the second thing, even though everything in my apartment is already integrated into Home Assistant and automations are already in place, my wife is a cave woman. When she wants to turn on the light, she physically goes and turns on the light from the light switch. It's, it's insanity. But that's my wife. And this device, since I will install it close to my front door, I will raise my spouse approval factor substantially. And Paul Hibbert, if you're watching this, Nisha might find this device actually useful and not mess around with your light switches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow or enable my wife when she walks into the house to turn on from one place close to the door the kitchen lights the living room lights, the air conditioner if she wants to, pull down the blinds if she wants to, and I will save her a trip to between light switches. This is why I think it will be very useful, at least for me. So let's go over to where I'm going to actually install this device and I'm going to do like sort of a time lapse and when it's configured I'll show you how to install this device or configure it. By the way, you can use, it, use the Tuya in a platform and if you're like me I'm using Home Assistant I use an SM Lite Zigbee coordinator and you can use it with that just fine I'm using ZHA works perfectly all right let's go over to where I'm going to install it all right guys so this is where I'm going to install the switch now I already opened up the light switch first of all let me clarify it when you're working with electric you should be using a certified electrician. I'm not a certified electrician. I'm taking my own risk. Of course, turn down all the breakers. You don't want to get electrocuted. But this is where it's going to go. Behind me is the front door. So when my wife walks over, she will be able to walk right here and control all the lights in the house. Instead of walking to the light switch, which was here for the kitchen and over there for my living room and way over there for my uh, blinds everything will be done from right here so now I'm going to try or at least attempt to install this device I am not an electrician this might fit just fine or it might fail catastrophically and I will not remember how to wire everything right back just before I start let me show you the back of this device this is where the live wire from the wall goes into this is where where it says N this is where the neutral wire will need to go to. And these are all the light terminals where you will see all the wires coming from the wall. All right, guys, let me try to attempt this. I'm going to do this 
in, in, a, in a sphere or a sort of a time lapse because nobody wants to watch a grown man fiddle around without knowing what he does with electrical wires. And let's hope for the best here. One eternity later. All right, so at this point, everything is wired up. Now I'm not going to pull it back in. First of all, I see that I have a, sort of a bit of a clearance issue. I will need to break some of the drywall here. And the second thing that I want, I, I don't want to place it in uh, still yet because I do want to bring the power up again and without even attaching it not to Tuya, not to Home Assistant, not everything. I just want to see that physically the lights work. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so I do see the blue lights, the blue light indicators. I'm not sure you will be able to see it, but let's see if my lights at least turn on. All right, first light came on right there. Let's see the other one. It's up on the ceiling. All right, that one turned on as well. So this means that at least electrically, I got everything hooked up correctly. At least we have that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to manage everything in, in place. I'm going to try to install it. And the next thing I'm going, to, I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to attach it to a Zigbee gateway with Tuya, and then how to, how to do the same, but with Home Assistant. All right, let's go. Hey everyone, sorry, I had to cut the recording completely because I did run into clearance issues where the back side of the device wouldn't fit in my electrical box. And I had to do, I tried to do some chiseling and make some more space. I still have some clearance issues. And I thought this is not going to be the case. I thought it was going to fit perfectly right in. That's what she said. So what I am going to do I'm going to write the measurements of the back side of the device so you, you will be able to determine exactly if it's going to fit inside your electric box or are you going to have to do some fitting. But this is generally what it looks like. It's very clean, very aesthetic. This is the look I was hoping for. The wiring couldn't be any easier and the diagram Zemispark provides in the box is very accurate. It's just the live wire goes into the bottom terminal, the neutral goes to the left one and the wires from the light fixtures to the side terminals and it works perfectly. What I am going to do now is I'm going to jump to my mobile device and I'm going to show you how to pair this device to a Tuya based Zigbee gateway and then I'm going to remove it, go to my home assistant and show you how to pair the device to a home assistant based coordinator. I'm using ZHA. And there is a caveat I want to show you, but I will get to it when I get to it. Join me. All right, guys. So we are at the mobile phone and I'm going to go into the Tuya mobile app. By the way, when you first install the device and connect it to power, it will already be in pairing mode. But if for some reason you can't find it just like that, just press any one of the devices for 10 to 15 seconds and it will go back into pairing mode. So let's go into the Tuya app. I already have my Zemi Smart Hub already configured, so let's go into that. And now sub device, device management, quick add, and the device should show right up in a few seconds. Here it is, click on done, and the device is paired successfully. Here are the four light switches or light buttons that are, the, that's the physical buttons. And if we swipe to the right, we'll see two more scene buttons. So it doesn't get any easier than that. I'm not going to elaborate more on Tuya just because I'm not a Tuya user and I don't think Tuya, uh, the Tuya platform is good enough. So what I am going to do is I'm going to click on edit. 
and remove the device because I do want to now pair it with my home assistant. So I'm going to close out of Tuya and now let's jump to my home assistant. I'm going to go into settings, devices, ZHA, here's my coordinator, it's an SM Lite device which I recommend very much. Let's click on add devices via this device and let's wait the device to be paired, it's already starting. Alright, so name the device whatever you want, place it in whatever area you see fit and the device is ready, here it is and you can see all the light switches are showing up as switches. Now, there is a caveat here, because in Tuya-based wall switches, oftentimes what will happen if you click one terminal, all of them will turn on. That's just if you do it on the, on the product page in Home Assistant. If you click individual terminals, for example, if I'll go to the button itself and turn on a light, only that light will show as on. So there is a sort of a way you can fix it. If you'll go into hex and install a, a package called ZHA Toolkit, I already installed it. Now, for some reason, it works on almost all Tuya based light switches. For me, it doesn't work on this specific switch. So if I'll go, if I'll go to developer tools, and services. There is a service in the ZHA toolkit called Cast Tuya Magic Spell, where you'll select the, the device that you have just paired and it will fix the issue where all the terminals turn on when you turn on just one of them. Wherein uh, automations, for example, this is not an issue when you press physically the buttons. This is not an issue, so the device works just fine in that term. This is just, just one caveat you should be aware of. Otherwise, this device, I think, is very clever. It's, it, fit, it fits my use case perfectly. And uh, do please take a look at the, uh, the, at the description of this video for the exact measurements of the backside of the device. Guys, if you like this video, give it a like, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye, everyone.